YouTube, Time of Reviews here with my auto assembly haul and thoughts video. Now I'm just gonna do the thoughts uh, first, get that done over with, and oh my god, it was amazing! It's oh, fantastic! It was so good, I can't even describe how good it was. There was just toys everywhere, and all the people uh, that I met were just really, really sound, and it's just, it was really, really, really good. And, um, when I went, I seen so many figures that I wanted to get, but because of my uh, collection, uh, you know, I've got uh, five Decepticons in total, and then like 20, 25 Autobots, so I needed to get some more Decepticons, and so that's what I brought. I still end up buying some uh, Autobots, I brought two Autobots, uh, well, one of them, uh, we, I did a trade with a friend of mine, and then the other one I brought at the last minute. Um, so yeah, but this uh, AA was really, really good. And uh, I was going to write a list to make sure what I get, uh, but there was no point because uh, I brought some figures that I thought I wouldn't actually buy, but I did. And I'm really glad I did because they were really, really awesome. But uh, getting down to the, the haul, uh, going to go to the other parts. I traded this with uh, John, the Wrecker 84, as he's known on YouTube. This is Dark the Moon Deluxe Sideswipe. I traded that for Transformers Prime Dead End. Um, I thought that was pretty good. Just put that down there. Because um, I do like Sideswipe, I plan to custom it so it's more movie accurate. Uh, and then this one, uh, First Movie Jazz. Uh, I don't know exactly what jazz he is because there was different types of jazz. It's just this wasn't that dull grey. Uh, this was actually like the, the shiny jazz, but it wasn't like the premium jazz. Um, I know that, but uh, I picked them up because I needed the jazz. I was hoping to get a reveal the shield jazz, but I didn't really find any. Um, sadly, um, right, Decepticons, Decepticons. Right, I'm gonna start off with the very first figure I brought when I went AA. I brought this off Matt. Uh, this is, I believe, Drop Shot. Now, um, if you see my update video. Uh, I do have the, the knockoff version which I brought in Spain. This is a piece of crap. This uh this is good. The joints are solid, he's got big weapons, he's just he's really cool. Like glad I got him, so um yeah that's pretty nice. And uh then I got um Crankcase, this was actually a gift of John, again the Rector 84. Uh, I appreciate that because I do like the dreads. And talking of dreads, the, the very last thing I brought at AA was a Dark of the Moon Side vs. Commander Hatchet. Um, so now I've got Crankcase and Hatchet. I plan to get another Crankcase so I can customise it to Crowbar, but these two figures are really, really cool. Um, so I'm glad I got them. Um, then I got. Uh, actually, no, I'll do that one in a minute. Um, so. The first thing, apart from Drop Shot, that I brought actually in the AA, because uh, Matt came up to us when we were queuing up, and that's when I brought it. Um, but the first thing I brought actually in the AA, like, shopping mall type thing, was Bone Crusher. Now, I actually brought Bone Crusher and Long Haul at the same time. If you've watched my AA video, um, now I said I was going to buy a Warpath, Mint and Bot, but I was like, Nah, I need Decepticons, so I brought Bone Crusher and Long Haul, but then I end up uh, selling Long Haul with all my Transformers Prime figures, because I'm not a big fan of Prime figures, so I sold all that and I got about £60 from it, uh, which I thought wasn't too bad, it was reasonable, so uh, from that um, trade kind of money situation, I brought this guy, First Movie Wreckage. He is awesome, I'm really glad I got him. The head's a bit loose, but... I can tie that up, so he's very, very cool. Glad to have got him on chicken bottom there. Uh, then I got uh, this guy, Wolf of Cybertron Soundwave. He's completed. Uh, you know, he cost me about twenty pounds, I think it was. And this is just an awesome figure. So really glad to have got him. Now the last uh, three figures, which I'm going to be showing off, are my favourite figures, and I'm really glad to have. Um, for those that know, I'm a massive Transformers Armada fan, so I picked up the IDW Deluxe uh, Armada Starscream. Had to get this, and oh my god, I really, really love him. He's just, 
an outstanding toy to play with. It's just really, really cool. Um, so, that's a Mada Star Scream. Then, um, one figure I've been looking for for quite a while now, and that is the Transformers Energon Scorponox. Yes, I finally got a Scorponox. <laughs> that is so cool. And I love Scorponox, he's badass. Uh, the joints on him are really, really tight. Um, so, hopefully after playing around and transforming him a couple of times, the joints will start to, to get pretty loose and freely, which is uh, what I like. So, finally got him. That's so cool. I really like uh, Scorpionark. He's badass. And then one figure I was surprised that I wasn't going to buy. I do really love this figure, and I'm glad I got him. But, again, it was a surprise. I wasn't actually uh, going to buy him. But <laughs> that's the Transformers Armada. Tidal Wave! Now, oh my god, this figure is so, so cool. Um, again, I didn't really think I was actually going to buy him, but then I just, I buy him. You know, I just I just brought him. He was like, uh, apart from Hatchet, he was like one of the last figures I brought. And I'm really glad I did, because I'm having a lot of fun, you know, playing around and transforming him and uh, whatnot, and he is just an awesome figure. Now, obviously, I want to get the Amada Megatron, so I can combine Tidal Wave and a Megatron together, because I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but Tidal Wave, he, he's really, really cool. Now, obviously, these two figures I'm really glad to get, and the Amada Starscream as well, that's just a bonus to me, so these two I'm really, really glad. Um, so now I'm going to go and do some shout... Uh, well, actually, no, I'm, I'm going to do this first. Um, that's my pass. Uh, that I got, uh, uh, sadly I didn't really get anything signed, which is just like, oh, that's a bummer, um, you know, uh, and now when you actually enter AA, you get free stuff and the Transformers comic, uh, which is pretty cool, and, uh, a poster, which, if I can get this on screen, that'd be quite cool, but it, it is a really cool poster, and, uh, that's that, this is really, really cool. Uh, that's definitely going on my wall, so... Um, then, uh, I got some stuff. Uh, ben, uh, BB Soundwaves, go and check out his channel, link in the description below, and whatnot. Uh, he gave me this. It's a postcard of the animated swindle, because uh, I really like the animated swindle, so... Uh, that's very, very cool. Uh, I do appreciate that. And then, obviously, I only got the one comic, and that came with the Amada Starscream. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really buy too many comics because I already have quite a few so I just brought many Decepticons, I still got a couple of Autobots uh, but those are the ones that uh, I ever traded or I really really needed and that was a Jazz, I still plan to get a reveal show of Jazz but still really really good, I really enjoyed myself and a um, couple of shout outs uh, BB Soundwave uh, links in the description to all these channels, by the way. BB Soundwave, he's a good mate of mine. He went uh, auto assembly with me. Uh, his name's Ben. Check out his channel. He's only got one or two videos. Um, so, yeah, just go and check his channel out. Like up the videos and whatnot. So, yeah. Then, the Wrecker 84, which most people know on the uh, Facebook community webpage. And that is John. Uh, go and check out his channel as well. He's got some really good reviews. Uh, especially the Masterpiece Sideswipe. Uh, and then some people you already know, uh, Tim, the Omega Supreme, well, it's just Omega Supreme, uh, but Tim, uh, when I met him, he was really, really sound, I'm glad to have met him, and um, links in the description to the channels as well. And then also I did meet some YouTubers that most people know, um, Dave, the S. NS No One, I think that's how you say it, I'm not too sure, uh, he was really, really funny. Uh, Mighty Grimlock, uh, Stuart, he was really, really funny as well, and really sound. Um, uh, so yeah, I think that's about it. We met some other uh, people, but I don't know if they have uh, YouTube channels or not, so... Uh, and I didn't really write any names down, which is like, bummer. Uh, but still, I enjoyed myself, it was great, can't wait to go next year, because hopefully next year I'll have a job, and I'll have a lot, lot more money. Uh, a lot, lot? That makes no sense, but I'll have a lot more money to spend uh, next year as well. So I'm really pleased with the figures I got, especially Scorponox and the Tidal Wave. They were just outstanding, and again, I wasn't really expecting to buy a Tidal Wave, but 
I'm really glad I did so. I enjoyed myself. It was great. If you didn't go this year, then you've got to go next year because it's just... Uh, it's just so, so good. Even if you don't have much spending money, you know, if you've brought the ticket and you've only got like £20 spending money, it's still worth going because the atmosphere and the people you meet is just out of this world. It's really, really good. So I've went on for quite a while now, so I'm going to go. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.